I'd like to talk about the um, the governing body of Jehovah Witnesses because these religious leaders have put themselves up and they make some startling claims. They claim they have secret knowledge and that only through them can the scriptures be interpreted because they're working as the faithful and discreet slave. They also say they're going to be in heaven along the right side of Christ ruling with him. That's a great big claim, isn't it? So these brothers are going to be in heaven directing what's going to take place on earth but they're multi-millionaires they're so wealthy so how can they claim that because they're so wealthy they're going to be ruling in heaven well there's more than that every person who's been a governing body and look at the names here they're going to be at the right side of Christ ruling but take a closer look at these names a lot of them are very German aren't they so what kind of rulership is there going to be as these faithful and the discreet slave are going to be ruling in heaven it's going to be very um, Caucasian don't you think and the way the watchtower depicts the uh, angels of heaven they're Caucasian too so it seems to me that it's going to be a very white heaven because that's the concept that they've given and they always give that concept in the magazines Now, I wonder, don't you think that the Watchtower has always depicted that? This white heaven and God being white? Because, in my opinion, that's the concept in the magazines. If the colour of Jesus or doesn't matter, why do they always depict Christ as a Caucasian looking man? seeking forgiveness. Are you seeking forgiveness, Walter? Forgiveness for what, Reverend? Vivian said you told her that God is black. I simply posed it as a possibility. We don't speculate on God's color, Walter. If you ever want Vivian to speak to you again, go upstairs and tell her that God is white. But we're really not sure. I mean, the Hindus don't believe it, the Muslims, the Buddhists. God is white. It's simple logic. His son is white. That's not proof. I'm white. My son is black. I'll pray for you, Walter. Didn't like that, did he? But do you understand the concept I'm saying? They depict a very white Jesus and God. And I think that's damaging because psychologically it's saying that there's no place in the organization for people of color. They've got their token black member who's a member of the governing body. But just think about it. I mean, it's a bit of a mind spinner, isn't it? My challenge is that the governing body, who behave like witches as far as I'm concerned, 
it'd be interesting to see if they would ever, ever put the image of Christ as black in their watchtower. Because they've never done that in their over a hundred whatever history. But it's a challenge, isn't it? Would they ever do that? No. So what does that tell you? said you told her that God is black. I simply posed it as a possibility. We don't speculate on God's color, Walter. If no, the watchtower to doesn't. You again, go upstairs and tell her that God is white. But the watchtower is white. The Hindus don't believe it. The Muslims, the Buddhists. God is white. It's simple logic. His son is white. That's not proof. I'm white. My son is black. I'll pray for you, Walter. If God is white, yeah, and Jesus is white, why were they asked by the Archangel Gabriel to hide in Egypt because King Herod was killing all the Hebrew sons? Why would they hide in North Africa? Well, it's a question, isn't it? But I'd be very interested if uh, the Watchtower ever, ever, ever did a black Christ. Anyway, that's the end of my little rant. And I'm going to be at the uh, protest today. So uh, I'll be thinking of those who can't come. So, yep, it's going to be a good day. Thank you for listening.